No, the third is within our creature, you fool. Of course. Well, why didn't I think of that? Mm. You need to lead our creature into the volcano. The searing heat will do the rest. But just a minute. Doesn't that mean our creature might die? Well, it's up to you, boss. Do you want to risk our noble creature to rule as you see fit? Or just let Nemesis spread his influence throughout the world again? Um, there's not really much choice there. Sorry, Toto. But, uh, we need to do this. You know? I'm not sure why it's one of those magically... Oh, the power of love is within your creature. But, um, yeah. Up to the volcano we go. Come on, Toto. We believe in you. Why did that clap actually picked up properly in the mic? Yeah, a volcano is a pretty scary place. They're pretty cool looking actually in real life. Um, if you ignore the fact that you like choke to death if you go near them. But uh, yeah, this is it. We apparently have had one of the pieces of the creed all along, which is a very convenient plot twist. Thank you for that. Um, so we got three bits of the creed. We just need to fuse them and then we've got the power to defeat Nemesis forever. Yep. We'll be the only god. Oh yeah, you want me as your only god, trust me. I, I'll do good things. I'll do like um, pizzas every Sunday. Yeah. Here we go. Creed 1, Creed 2. And Creed 3 and Creed magically teleporting back up to the top because of graphics bugs. And down Toto goes. Into the fiery depths of the volcano. The searing heat will fuse the Creed together, but... I mean... Polar bears don't like the heat. Well, that might be a fairly redundant thing to say, but um... Yeah... Toto is in space. Okay. We've apparently started playing Super Mario Galaxy, so welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Um, I'm playing as the unknown Toto character. Most people don't play as Toto. Uh, Toto is a polar bear who can't quite jump as well as Mario or Luigi, but makes up for it for the ability to cast miracles. Um, yeah, the creeds are fused. And Nemesis. Now, some people might argue that that's overkill. At the cost of Toto. What was that? Hang on. I he has burnt polar bear. He's back. He doesn't look too hot though. Maybe we can fix him up. Maybe. Let's cast a heal miracle. I hope this is actually in my land. Because otherwise that's pain. No, it's not in my land. Thank thank you for that game. Well, you healed now. Welcome back, Toto. I knew you could do it. Yeah, they were never gonna have your creature die. That would be a bit of an anticlimactic ending. Although, to be fair, I can't, it kind of would be nice, you know, the noble sacrifice. You rarely see that in the stories these days. It always turns out that the hero survives, even after defeating the big bad. Nemesis is gone. I'm the only god. Toto's still alive. That's it. It's over. It's time for the uh, list of everyone who made this game and made it as buggy as they did. Um, so yeah, Lionhead Studios. So I guess thank you for watching Let's Play Black and White. Um, I've recorded a lot today because I wanted to get it all done before my exams. So sorry there was no vote on like whether I should 
have Toto go to the volcano, but really there's no question that's the that's the way to do things. So yeah, it's over. Um, I'm surprised I got it done as quick as I did to be honest because some of the levels can really drag on but being evil is quicker than being good which I don't think that's true of the second game um, I don't know if you people have asked will I do like the second game uh, probably not I mean it's not a favourite of mine like this game was um, yeah Man and Horse, best not say too much about that yeah this game is really one of my all time favourites whereas Black and White 2 it's, it's not a bad game but it has so many faults and like the main faults are it just isn't the first game I mean, the armies are just ridiculous, the epic miracles, and um, there's only one which is really worth casting from your side, and yeah. Ah, uh, the ogre. See, what I could have done is hack the game so that Toto was an ogre, which would have been an interesting way to do it. Um, I'm not sure whether that would actually bug out when Nemesis made his creature the opposite of yours, though. Um, quite possibly, because the ogre isn't meant to be a playable creature. Oh, it's Yogi. How are you doing? Where's Boo Boo? Um, yeah, so, um, you did. Uh, I don't really have much to say at the moment, which is weird, since basically what I do is just shout at myself. Um, so I'd like to thank me for making all this possible and um, all of my friends who are actually now giving me support on this stuff although except Jess who just wants me to do more of the, me talking to the camera videos rather than the let's plays but yeah apparently no one likes um, Joe's videos everyone likes mine which I think is just generally hate Joe stuff um, because I think it's fairly obvious when you look at the number of subscribers we have everyone likes Joe um, Joe, in case you don't know, is Angelo Blaze, so yeah, that's his real name. My real name's Amy, if you don't know. And um, we go to uni together, although not for long, since uni's nearly over, and it's actually his last year and my first, so... And, I mean, we'll still see each other, so... It's, um, his girlfriend's still going to be here, so I'm sure he'll come down and visit. And, yeah, it's his fault that all of my, well, most of my real life friends now know I have a YouTube because I'm really shy and I didn't tell any of them before. But I subscribed to him on YouTube, he found out this was me and then he told a few people and then I got fed up and told everyone, so. Hold on, I'm pretty sure I sacrificed that guy. I'm absolutely positive I didn't sacrifice their kid and I sacrificed the both of them, so what are they doing alive? That's the other blue people. Uh, I think I need to smite some people. Um, yeah, these are the people who tested the game. Um, yeah, good job. You didn't actually spot any of the bugs. I'm quite amazed. There are about a million bugs, especially in the original game before it's patched. Um, so yeah, these people really didn't do a very good job testing because the original game was practically unplayable. You couldn't get a handful of the creatures just because the quests bugged. Um, the curse on the last level never went off your creature even after you defeated Nemesis and if you left land you c creature would still be cursed when you were like um, playing a multiplayer map or something so essentially you couldn't play land 5 the, the game was bugged that badly if you played land 5 your creature was permanently minimum size and opposite your alignment um, yeah, so testing for EA, more people who didn't actually do their job properly. And yeah, it's the one black woman in the game, the one black person in the entire game. There's one black person and there's one Welsh person completely randomly, considering the t tribes you have, which are like Norse and Greece and stuff. Um, I mean, I assume they're black people back in, in the days of the Greeks and the Romans and such. I assume so, I don't know that much about um, the history of the colour of people. I know more about the evolutionary history of people, but um, yeah, there must have been. But whether they'd actually be part of the society, they'd probably be slaves, wouldn't they? I'm pretty sure I drowned all those people as well, but well, maybe that's in the past when they had their boat up and sailing off to get the polar bear, which Toto ended up as. Um, yeah, you know what I should do? I should say thank you for everyone who voted um, on what creature Toto should do or on what things I should do. Um, just thank you for making the LP just a little bit interactive, even if not really that much. But um, is he chiseling with a sword? I don't think there were swords in this game. Oh, that guy's going to get so stoned. I mean, like, that's a big enough mushroom to make Mario actually 
turn big enough that he'll crush the planet with his own gravitational force. That's a big mushroom. And the Pied Piper, I um, didn't I eat him? But whatever, he's back and dancing. Um, obviously he got pooped out the other side of Toto's intestinal tract and was still perfectly alive. And yeah, everyone's clapping for the only god. Me. And now I will rule with dignity, niceness and pleasantries and oh fuck it, let's just smite a lot of them. Where's the lightning bolt stream when you need? Look, they're all bunched together. Oh, just, just for a mega blast or a fireball or a lightning bolt, anything. I could just... All these people will be gone just like that. I mean, they're just taunting me now. I wonder what miracle creates the fireworks. So yeah, that's all. Thank you all for watching Let's Play Black and White. And um, game over. Bye.